So you can use the Connect Fonts desktop client to find suitable replacements for your PostScript fonts. Uh, depending on where you are in your creative workflow will depend on which path you take. Um, I can think of a couple scenarios that might be interesting to you depending on where you are in that journey. The first scenario is uh, if you open up a Photoshop document, for example, and you learn just in time that that document has uh, PostScript fonts in using some of those text layers and, and Photoshop is not treating those as missing fonts. And do, so in that scenario, you're gonna wanna find a, a, a replacement very quickly, just in time. The second scenario that you might be interested in is auditing your entire collection just to understand how many PostScript fonts you have and where those fonts are used. So I'll talk about how Connect Fonts can help here. Scenario one, you'll know you'll learn what the PostScript name is for that PostScript font when you learn that it's missing inside of Photoshop. Take that name, launch the Connect Fonts desktop client, and in the quick find uh, feature, you can enter the name at the top of the, uh, of the search field and it'll filter the list of all the fonts that you have to just that PostScript font by that name. Uh, then you can right click on it, show font info, and there's a tab called Quick Match. And what Quick Match does is it'll show you which fonts in your entire collection render visually similar to that PostScript font. Once you see the list of those fonts, you can, you can uh, browse through them, find the replacement that you want, right click, activate, go back to Photoshop, and now you're ready to just apply that font to the text layers and be on your way. Once you've applied that, that font to those text layers, just remember the last step is, of course, go through and make sure that your uh, content is uh, pixel perfect like it always is. Make sure that the content reflowed exactly the way you expect it because now you're using a different font in those text layers. Uh, save the document and you're kind of done. Scenario two is, is uh, looking at your entire collection of fonts at once. Uh, I would again go back into Connect Fonts Desktop Client and use the Advanced Find feature. The way you access that is uh, using Command F or Control F, depending on which platform you're on, Mac or Windows. And choose the type filter, uh, matches, and then the PostScript uh, criteria in the Advanced Find uh, search, and it'll show you all the fonts in your collection that are PostScript fonts. And from there, you can drill into each font one by one as needed and use Quick Match to find replacements that way. Uh, but there's also another uh, feature that is interesting in this scenario in Connect Fonts. If you've got document tracking enabled, you can click on the Documents tab inside of the Font Info uh, panel, and it'll show you which documents on your local machine uh, have used that PostScript font in the past via the auto activation plugins. And so those are the two most common scenarios where I think Connect Fonts can help you uh, overcome this challenge ahead of us all.